hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math lumped exponential equation problem so here we have 64 to the power of m is equals to m to the power of 192 and we solve this problem for all the values of m so here uh, i hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to move the variable terms to the right hand side and we will move the constant terms to the left hand side for this first we move our variable terms to the right hand side and now in, in order to uh, move m to the right hand side we need to take the uh, mth root or 1 over m power on both of the sides so when you take 1 over m power on both of the sides it will be written as m to the power of 192 and its whole power is 1 over m and now further in the next step uh, we need some simplifications in the left hand side we apply this exponent law if you have a to the power of m to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n according to this exponent law uh, we will multiply these two exponents it will be written as 64 to the power of m multiplied by 1 over m is equals to m to the power of 192 is multiplied by 1 over m now you see here this m and this m are cancelled out by each other so we will get here in the left hand side is 64 equals to here in the right hand side according to this rule if we have these two numbers are multiplied by each other we move any one number inside the term and we here we need to move 1 over m inside the term and it will be written as 1 over m to the power of 1 over m and its whole power is 192 and now in this step we move our variable term to the right hand side and in the next step we need to move our 192 in the left hand side so for this we again take uh, 192th power or 1 over uh, 192th power on both of the sides so it will be written as 64 to the power of uh, 1 over 192 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and its whole power 192 and its whole power is 1 over 192 because we take 1 over 192 power on both of the sides so again we apply uh, this exponent law and uh, here we need to multiply the exponents in the right hand side but in the left hand side we need some simplifications uh, so here we write 64 we know that 64 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 64 and its whole exponent is 1 divided by 1 over 192 and here you see that when we multiply these two exponents this term is cancelled out by this term we get here m to the power of 1 over m only so in the left hand side uh, we again multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 1 over 192 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m so when we cancelled these terms you see here 6 3s are 18 and we carry 1 and 6 2s are 12 so uh, in the left hand side we get 2 to the power of 1 over 32 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now in the next step uh, here uh, if you focus in the right hand side you see here we have uh, m to the power of 1 over m means that our exponent is the reciprocal of its base so we make this type of conditions in the left hand side so in order to make the exponent is the reciprocal of its base we need some working in the left hand side uh, so uh, for this here first we need to multiply and divide the exponent of 2 by 2 and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 32 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now here <clears throat> further in the next step we need to multiply these terms uh, here we need to move this 2 inside the term 
and it will be written as we write this is 2 square and this 2 is multiplied by 32 and it will be written as 1 over 2 multiplied by 32 and this whole is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now here in the next step uh, we will get here this 2 square equals to 4 and its exponent is 1 divided by 2 times of 32 equals to 64 and this whole is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now further in the next step here we need more simplifications uh, because here you see that in the left hand side we cannot make here the exponent is a reciprocal of its base so in order to make this we need to repeat the above process again and again until we get here this type of conditions so here we again multiply and divide the exponent of 4 by 2 and it will be written as 2 by 2 multiplied by 1 over 64 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now further uh, in the next step here uh, we need more simplifications and it will be written as here we move again this 2 inside the term and it will becomes 4 square and this 2 is multiplied by this 64 and it will becomes uh, 128 is equals to m to the power of 1 over m. And now you see here 4 square is equals to 16 and its whole power is 1 over 128 equals to m to the power of 1 over m. And you see that here we cannot make the exponent is a reciprocal of its base so we again repeat the above process and now we again multiply and divide the exponent of this term by 2 and it will be written as 16 to the power of 2 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 128 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and here we again move this 2 inside the term and it will become 16 square and its whole power is 1 over 2 multiplied by uh, 2 times of 122 and it is equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now here in the next step we have uh, you see here 16 square is equals to 256 and its whole power is 1 over this is 2 times of 128 is equals to 256 equals to m to the power of 1 over m and now you see here both of the sides have the exponent is the reciprocal of its basis now we have the time to compare both of the sides and when we compare its exponents it will be written as 1 over 256 is equals to 1 over m and when we compare its basis then you get m is equals to 256 and now from both of these cases you get the same value of m and that is m equals to 256 so this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos